Hi everyone, my name is Patrick Tanzaridi. I'm a web developer from Sydney. Today I'm going to show you Kaleidoscope, which is a file comparison tool for the Mac. I'm going to show you what it can do and why in particular I've chosen Kaleidoscope over the huge numbers of other file comparison tools out there. So let's get started. If you're looking to get Kaleidoscope to give it a go, you can download a 15 day free trial at kaleidoscopeapp.com. If you do end up looking to buy it, it's about $70, which is quite reasonable if you're doing a lot of file comparison like I do in my day-to-day -day work. The website shows a lot of what it can do. Uh, it's got text comparison, image comparison, it's got folder comparison, and it's also got really nice integration with source control, which as all sensible web developers know, is essential in this day and age. So today I'll show you how I use all this in my day-to-day -day work especially these features in particular. One of the main ways I tend to use Kaleidoscope is one of the more manual ways to compare files. I open up Kaleidoscope's main app and I drag in two files that I would like to compare. So here I'll compare the two website sidebars in my website redesign. I'll drag them here into the window and it'll automatically compare the two files and show me what's changed. It's quite simple and quite pretty actually. I'll expand out the window a bit so you can actually see what's happening. There we go. So it shows the two differences side by side and you can change how it formats them. So if you click blocks, it'll make sure that the comparative lines in the file line up neatly. If you click fluids down the bottom, it keeps the natural flow of your code intact and instead shows the differences with lines matching up where the similar text was found. Those two are the main options that I use with file comparison. I don't tend to use the unified view here, as I find it's quite messy and hard to read and merge changes between the files. Kaleidoscope is great at working with source control. I'll show you how I've got it set up with Git. You can also use SVN and a bunch of others, whatever takes your fancy. If you open up Kaleidoscope and go to integration, it has a list of all the different things you can set it up with, as you can see. To start with, you've got to install the KS diff tool. That's the same with all source control options. So whatever you're doing, you're going to have to install it. Click install, type in your max password, and it'll work its magic. From there, we can set up Kaleidoscope to work with our source control of choice. As you can see, you could do SVN, but I work with Git, so I'll show you how it works with Git. Click configure, and it's now configured as our default tool for diff and merging. As you can see in the usage examples, diff is comparing the changes whilst merging, allows you to actually act on those changes and fix any conflicts in your code. I'll show you an example. I've already made some changes to this website here. This is a WordPress theme for a redesign I'm doing on my own website. I've changed these two files and haven't committed any of these changes in Git yet. So when I open up my terminal down here, and I type in git diff tool. Kaleidoscope will show me the differences between the files I've changed and the versions stored in git. You can see I've changed this text here. And in this file here, I've removed that block of code. The functionality here is the same as the file comparison functionality when we did it manually. It's just automatically pulled in from git. One of my favorite things that I like to do in Kaleidoscope, which a lot of people don't really get into with other file comparison tools I've seen, is the ability to compare images. Say you've accidentally done a bunch of changes to images on your site, or something's automatedly changed stuff, and you want to check what's changed. It's brilliant at that. I've got this image here of me in my brief stint as a superhero. They were good days. I decided it's a bit too graphic, and I'm adding in a box to censor out the offending bits of that image. I'll click save to save that change that I just made to the box. Then we'll go back to the terminal and we'll do our git diff tool again. We can see our previous two files from last time, but we've also got this new change up here. Uh, this is the image comparison. It's currently in one up, which shows you each image on top of the other and lets you switch between them to manually see the difference. As we can see, quite clear, we've added a censored box on top of that image. Two up shows the difference side by side rather than on top of each other. 
and split splits the line down the middle you can move the image around to see the difference or you can move the split line to see the changes even move it up here each of these options works for different situations so it's great to have each of these to fall back on you can also do a diff of the two images which will programmatically look at what it thinks the changes have been between the two images this can be very useful at times but it can also be quite ineffective as you can see with the sensor bit of the text you can change the opacity between the two images as well to see the difference a bit more clearly jpegs don't work as well in this difference view because the compression on the images will come up a lot of the time as differences between the two images so just something to be aware of when using this tool with jpegs one of the most time-saving features of kaleidoscope is the folder comparison folder comparison has saved me a lot of time in the past because it's very simple to use and makes the whole process very quick to give an example we'll compare these two folders which are two different versions of my WordPress theme in progress. I want to see what's changed between the two. Say there was a bit of code I added in one that I wanted to migrate over to the other, but I didn't remember which file it was in. Going to this feature allows me to see all the files which are different and click to see the difference in detail. So when I drag both in, as you can see, I can see absolutely every difference between the files. When I click into the files, it'll show me specifically what has changed, both in text and as you can see when I click here you can see the new image that I added in just for this tutorial which was not in the previous version of the theme so you can do the text compare you can do the image compare I'll open up a CSS file here just to see a bit more of the style of kaleidoscope and how it comes up when you've got a whole heap of different changes so this is much more substantial changes between the two files and doing folder compare lets me compare all of this at once. So if you're ever in a big project and you need to compare a heap of files to clean stuff up, Kaleidoscope is your best friend. The reason I chose Kaleidoscope over the many other diff tools on the Mac was that the interface is much cleaner. It was a lot easier to use and felt much faster while I was using it. Not to mention the image comparison kind of blew my mind when I first saw it. If you've got a Mac, Give it a go, download the free trial. You'll be so impressed as I was with the amount of stuff it can do. If you have any questions about Kaleidoscope or how I use it in my day-to-day -day work, or if there's anything in particular I didn't cover that you'd like to know about, and I know there is, there are a whole bunch of things that it can do that I didn't have time to cover in this video. You can find me on Twitter at thatpatrickguy or find my contact details on my website at patcat.me. Thanks for watching.